All right, congrats on getting through Rule 1. Now it's time to tackle a seriously important section. Rule 2. Responsibility. This rule might be short, but it's the beating heart of the entire IRPCS system. Let's jump straight into it. Rule 2. A. Nothing in these rules shall exonerate any vessel, or the owner, master or crew thereof, from the consequences of any neglect to comply with these rules or of the neglect of any precaution which may be required by the ordinary practice of seamen or by the special circumstances of the case. Okay, deep breath. That one's a bit of a mouthful, but let's break it down. What this means is simple. If you're operating a vessel and something goes wrong because you neglected the rules, you're responsible. Period. You can't say I was just following orders if you ignored safety. Think of it like this. If you're driving a car and you cause a crash because you ran a red light, you're not off the hook just because you didn't mean to. Same deal at sea. This rule puts accountability front and center for everyone on the vessel. And remember, these rules exist for one reason, to prevent collisions at sea. Main purpose of the IRPCS is to avoid collisions. Section Rule 2B This one's key safety comes first, even if it means breaking the rules. Wait, what? Yes, that's what it says. Imagine this. You're in your correct lane on the road. Someone else swerves straight into your path, head on. What do you do? You don't keep going and say, well, I had the right of way. You swerve, you break, you do whatever it takes to avoid the crash. That's what Rule 2B is saying. Following the rules is mandatory, but preventing a collision is even more important. So yes, follow the rules. But if following the rules would cause a collision because someone else messed up, you're expected to take action. Avoid the accident. Save lives. And that's a wrap for today's session. We've covered a lot of ground on Rule 2 responsibility. Remember, understanding these rules is crucial for your safety and the safety of others at sea. And that's it. Rule 2. Responsibility. Complete. I know this one was a short one, but I wanted to separate each rule so we can take our time and fully understand what it's telling us. It helped me massively when I was studying, and hopefully, it's helping you too. By now, you're probably noticing, these rules might look complex on paper, but the actual message is usually simple, crystal clear once you break it down. So go ahead, organize your notes, review this one, and I'll meet you in the next episode. Until then, study smart, sail safe, and remember, you are the captain of your own responsibility.